Welcome back. It was a full night of showdowns across the area as two of our local teams competed for regional titles. And we've got both of those highlights for you and the scores for you. Let's jump right in. And opening up our Friday night frenzy highlights, the Lafayette Central Catholic Knights hosted the Andrean 59ers in what started out as a stout defensive matchup. CC quarterback Bobby Metzger barely gets out of his drop back and throws a wild pass that's intercepted by Andrean's Jimmy Finley. CC would bounce back and force a three and out and after one it's 0-0. Into the second quarter, Metzger drops back, but Andrean's Angel Torres and Ellis Dumas instantly bring the pressure for the sack. Later in the second, Javier McCoy takes the handoff and barrels right up the middle to put Andrean on the board first. Andrean was rolling late in the third, up 14 to seven, until Metzger finds Ray Great Clayton pass. wide open as the sideline erupts, jumping in front of the camera <laughs> to celebrate the touchdown. It would not be enough, however, as Andrean would rally to win the game 20 to 17. Congrats are in order to Central Catholic on a great season, yes. and best of luck to Andrean in the rest of the tournament. Go. Alrighty, in Class 5A, the Jefferson Broncos traveled to Warsaw to face the Tigers. A couple of big time plays for the Broncos. First up is the handoff to Antoine Richmond for the five yard touchdown. Then the pass to, from Kean Crowder to Andre Fancher, and he is a little too slippery for the Tigers to claw as Ooh. Fancher is good for a 73 yard score. Later on, Crowder would find Omar Williams Jr. for the 37-yard touchdown. Unfortunately, though, the Broncos would fall short to the Tigers, losing 44-7 again. Congrats are in order to the Broncos for a really good season. All right, inside Mackey Arena, the number 13 Boilermakers took on the number 2 Alabama. In front of a sold-out crowd, the Black and Gold put on a show and utilized weapons that the Crimson Tide had no answers for tonight. Leading the Boilers was Trey Kaufman Wren, who had 26 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists. Braden Smith and Fletcher Lawyer each had 17. And the freshman, C.J. Cox, played huge off the bench, adding 11. The team played a clean brand of basketball, limiting themselves Tim, to only 3 turnovers on the night. Wow. Here's head coach Matt Painter on his young rotation after the game. Well, it's um, it's a need. You know, your your rotation shortens a little bit sometimes in the second half. I should say mine does. Um, when you feel somebody is playing well, like I just stuck with CJ, right? Because you know he he had played well. You know, Cam Heidi has done some good things for us. He stretches the defense too. So sometimes when he doesn't get as many cracks at it, um, but we need him. You know, and and that's a little bit different than a lot of other people because we don't live in the portal as much. The Boilermakers will be on the road to face Marquette on Tuesday. Happening tomorrow, number four Penn State will take the field against Purdue. Serving as the last time the Boilermakers will play inside Ross Aid for the season, the Black and Gold will enter the game coming off a 45-0 loss to Ohio State. And the Nittany Lions are riding a 35-6 win over Washington. With tomorrow being senior day, the center Gus Hartwing and linebacker Keedron Jenkins talk about their last home game. I mean, obviously a lot. Just kind of get a lot of, I guess, all, all the family we've had throughout the years, all the support through that, and then all the wins we've had, kind of going through even some last week, kind of the kind of teammates you've had, kind of the kind of the big wins, some of like the cool experiences you've had, just kind of remembering all those, and really, I think it's a, a lot of the, a lot of the relationships and just kind of the pride for Purdue having that reality, like this is like this is the last home game you'll ever have, and Ross Aid, and kind of when you go out, out for the game, come out for the game, finish the game, come in, kind of like kind of be a reflection on that. Kind of prep, prep before the game, after the game, during the game, go out and play. But just kind of have that have that harsh reality like this is the last time you're going out there as a player. I mean, it's going to be a bittersweet moment. I did my last game at Ross 8. Been a long time coming. Four years, four strong years here. Um, excited, man. Excited to go have fun, um, fun with my guys. You can watch Purdue's final home game of the season on CBS Big Ten Saturday right here on WLFI at 3.30 p.m. All right, that's it for News 18 at 11. Thanks for watching.